Hey guys, and welcome to my 5 minute Affliction Warlock class guide. Their combat style focuses on damage over time spells. They are a fairly survivable class with many ways of self healing. Have a strong single target and cleave damage profile. Have a very strong execute phase with trained soul. And are medium to high complexity to learn. Let's see what Affliction Warlocks bring for raid buffs and debuffs. Affliction Warlocks bring an Intellect and Spirit buff in the form of Fell Intelligence, but this is better brought by Mages and Priests. They also bring a variety of debuffs in the form of Curses, but again, Warlocks rather use their Curse for damage, so these are often brought by other classes. Lastly, they bring Spell Crit Chance with Improved Shadow Bolt. This is simply applied as part of the Warlock's normal rotation, so it is the preferred method. Although not known for their support spells, Affliction Warlocks do bring some unique utility spells to their team. They bring single target CC in the forms of Fear and Death Coil, and the Demon and Elemental exclusive Hard CC in Vanish. They also bring Howl of Terror, an AoE fear. The Affliction Warlocks also bring a Combat Resurrection spell with Soul Stones, Fell Health Stones, which can be used with any combat or healing potion, a Magic Dispel or Purge from the Fell Hunter, and let's not forget about Warlock Summoning. A Warlock's priority list goes as follows. Keep Improved Shadow Bolt up on the target. Keep Corruption up. Use Shadow Bolt, Haunt, and Drain Soul to refresh it. Keep Unstable Affliction and Haunt up. Refresh these as close to the end of their duration as possible. Keep Curse of Agony up. Never refresh this early as the last ticks do the most damage. Fill with Shadow Bolt. In Execute Phase, replace Shadow Bolt with Drain Soul. Before we go into the example fight, we have to discuss snapshotting and how it affects the Warlock spell's Corruption and Drain Soul. When you cast a spell like Corruption, the game will check the stats of your character at the moment in time and take a snapshot of them. These stats are then carried with the Corruption throughout the duration of its life. So even if you refresh it with Shadow Bolt, these stats will roll over into the refreshed Corruption. But if you refresh the corruption by casting the spell again, it will take with it your new stats. But which stats are carried over? For the purpose of corruption, we have to worry about percent damage increases from things like tricks of the trade and your critical strike rating. So anything that increases that will also carry over. Things that don't carry over and are updated dynamically are haste, spell power, and all debuffs on the boss. When it comes to Drain Soul, spell power is carried throughout the duration of the cast. Before the fight has started, I make sure I have all relevant buffs up and my Fell Hunter out. I then life tap to proc my Glyph, pre-pot Wild Magic, and pre-cast Shadow Bolt. I then proceed to get all my dots up. I also use my Trinket. Whenever you use your trinket, just ensure that it will be up for execute phase. I then continue to refresh corruption with shadow bolt, and I refresh my dots when they fall off. I make sure to never refresh agony until it has gone through its full duration. For the execute phase, make sure to keep dots up and cast drain soul. Never clip drain soul's cast near the end of a tick but only after one has just finished. Also remember if you get any strong trinket procs during Drain Soul to refresh your Drain Soul after a tick. When the trinket proc is about to expire, refresh Drain Soul again to get a full duration Drain Soul with the powerful trinket. In AoE, if the mobs will live long enough for your dots to complete their duration, then cast them. If not, cast Seed of Corruption. If you have a main target, such as a boss, and short-lived adds around him, make sure to cast Seed of Corruption on the ad so you don't overwrite your Corruption cast. For Life Tap, use it when you are forced to move, and try not to use it during Execute or Trinket procs. Here's a possible talent tree, okay thanks bye.